Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is week nine of the Journey to Health collab. Uh, hey, check out the fellow collaborators below. <laughs> I'm starting to get to where I need to get back to. Well, I'm going to get to that in this video. We have a great question. I mean, this question could not have came at a better time. I just, I'm blown away. <laughs> I know this was already pre-planned. We already had the question. We knew these questions, you know, over nine weeks ago. We were planning this over ten weeks ago, and I cannot believe I got this question at this time. It was like just perfect. It's like it was meant to be. What has been your greatest obstacle with your journey? You know, if I'd have had this question at the beginning. I would have said, hey, I haven't had any obstacles, but right now, right now, I have the greatest obstacle. Uh, as you may or may not know from uh, one of my earlier videos, I mentioned about having the AFib, and, you know, I lost 50 or 60 pounds, and I had the AFib, and then I got it again around the same time right after I hit 350 and last time I just pretty much totally let go totally quit didn't think about it didn't want to think about it didn't do exercise didn't eat right didn't do anything fell back exactly where I was and I was back to the weight that I was when I started originally well I started to feel myself falling back Obviously, you haven't seen any videos, as many videos, I should say. I've been going once a week or so, but you haven't been seeing as many videos, and I've, I've been falling back. I've been going back to my old ways. I've been eating slightly more. I've been watching Netflix a little more. I haven't been cleaning my house like I was. I haven't been going to the gym like I was. I haven't even been going to disc golf as much as I was. And I still go, but just not as much as I was. Uh, basically, I've been maintaining. So I didn't gain a whole lot of weight. I haven't lost a whole lot of weight. And after doing so fantastic, it just really getting to me that I wasn't quite doing it. And I just didn't feel like doing any videos. But that's the time you really should do the videos is when you don't feel like doing them. Um, I do have this procedure coming up on Thursday, which I'm going to do. I'm going for it, but I'm pretty scared about it. I know other, other lots of other people have had it done, and I'm just, you know, it's new to me. I've never really had any surgeries, and I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I guess I'm going to find out. So that's kind of where my mindset has been and doing the videos have been the furthest thing from my mind. So that's more or less what's been going on. So what has been the greatest obstacle with your journey? Yeah, right now, having this AFib back. Although this procedure, if all goes well, will take care of that. It's going to get rid of the AFib. It's going to be fantastic. And I can't wait. I just, I pray that that, I mean, it's got an 85, 90% success rate. So I'm going, you know, I'm going with those odds. You know, you can't do that at the, you know, local gambling, gambling establishment. You definitely are not going to have 80 to 90 percent, 90 80 to 90% uh, success rate. Oh, let's see here. I did very well sticking to these videos before the AFib, and that has given me that that really inspired me and kept me going and interacting with everybody else on similar journeys. It, and even now, you know, I, I went disc golf in this last weekend and I ran into one of the local pros and he said man 
I wanted to shake your hand. You uh, motivated me to get going, and I've already lost uh, 20 pounds, and I got another 40 to go, and I can't wait to do it. And thank you so much for starting your videos. I'm, I'm thinking, man, I, I haven't really been doing my videos as much, but obviously when I was doing them, it helped him to get going, and I, I gotta get back at it, man. I really do, because um, I feel like I could, I, I've helped more than just one person out which is beyond me I, I started this just thinking hey it's just gonna help me out but if it's helping more than just me that's that's more than I can ever have wished for but anyway I will not have a way in this Friday just like I didn't have one last Friday although I said I would I know I just kinda screwed up there I'm not going to have a weigh in this Friday. I will be recovering from the procedure. I will, however, as well, as long as I survive, I guess. <laughs> Anything can happen. As long as I'm here and survived, I will be doing a weigh in the following Friday. And I'm really looking forward to that one. That's going to be the real telltale. Currently, I am 350. So I've gained a little slightly but I haven't went all the way up so it's not uh, panic mode um, however I have not been eating the greatest and I have been falling back into some of my uh, old habits which is very discouraging however gotta pick myself back up and get going and I look forward to getting these videos going again I apologize for this one being a little bit elongated. <laughs> I've been uh, neglecting them so long I felt like I needed to explain a little bit more. Whether all this makes sense or not, I don't know. But anyway, I do look forward to continuing these. And I probably won't see you again until after the procedure is done. The procedure is on Thursday. And prayers are welcome. Thank you.